Can you please state who you are? I'm Kyle Universe with Film Tree City Productions. And can you tell us about this project? Well, I've had this idea for a few years now that would explore all the secrets and hidden mysteries around The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, this is not an easy feat. I mean, there is so much going on in that game. You know, it's like I knew I needed an expert. So I heard of this eccentric Zelda fan that lived high up on this mountain, but I knew that she would be able to help me, if I could find her. So I set off on this expedition. It took me a little bit, but it paid off. She had a white cloak, a scarf covering her face, and appeared to be in a trance. So I just walked up to her. Greetings, traveler. Tell me what it is that you seek. I seek all the secrets and the mysteries of the video game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But not just the secrets. I want to know all of... Ah, jeez. You know, first impressions are really important. And let this set the mood for the rest of the encounter. I am familiar with that game, and the secrets within are vast. It could take years to discover them all. Don't I know it. I've been trying to find them all since the 90s. Who are you talking to? Weren't you just... Ugh! Why are you slapping me? You're not all there, are you? Ha-ha! Ugh! And this whole thing went on for 10 minutes. I am not kidding. And then, for no reason, she takes off her hood and pulls out a ridiculous amount of hair. And I'm talking at least five feet of hair. So, I didn't know what to think. So, what did you do? Well, I just borrowed a line from Tangled, actually. Dang, that's a lot of hair. Well, minus the dang part, but I think my point was well made. So, of course, I asked her if she could help me or not, and she replied, Follow me, please. And so, off we went on a rather unnecessary route around the place. And quite honestly, I don't even think she knew where she was going. But we would walk one way, and then round a rock or something, and then she would just turn around and then walk back in the opposite direction. And then she took me up this extremely steep hill. I mean, that was hard going. And then once we got to the top, I noticed that there was a trail on the other side that led right to that spot. And I was like, why couldn't we have taken this trail up here? And do you know what happened next? Can you take a guess? You got she slapped again. She slapped me again. Of course she did. So after much tediousness, she finally led me to the correct spot. This is the Trilorium. Within it, you'll find all the secrets to the Ocarina of Time. She handed me the book, and as I turned to thank her, she was gone again. So naturally, of course, I was on edge. <sighs> One for the road. Ugh, she's the crazy lady. <clears throat> <sighs> so that's how I got the Trilorium. It was a real hassle to get, <laughs> but hopefully it will pay off. Stay tuned.